What's up guys and welcome to Heroes Avenue. My name is Darren and today we're going to be talking about some Batman news or more like uh, Robert Pattinson quotes because Robert Pattinson right now he is doing a tour or press tour for his upcoming movie The Lighthouse um, and then we're going to jump into uh, some Aquaman 2 uh, quotes from Jason Momoa and then we're going to go into rumors with the Green Lantern. Alright so let's talk about this Robert Pattinson uh, quotes because I've been waiting for this guy to talk about the Batman um, and just, I mean, basically I was waiting for him to just go on this lighthouse tour just so we could talk about the Batman with him and uh, He talked he said some interesting things about uh, the role and uh, what kind of voice he'll be doing uh, But let me go ahead and talk about this first quote right here He says Batman was kind of a surprise to me like now that I'm getting into it I don't want to approach it as if it's kind of a big studio thing where you're really doing uh, Is thinking about your trailer. I want to approach it in exactly the same way I want it to be frightening I want it I want it to be something which you lose yourself in I think it's more difficult to do because it's such a familiar character to lots of people but I think if you can really find a place to lose yourself in it then I think it's really exciting and I love this quote so much I mean I didn't know a lot of actors just think about the trailer but everything else that he said is really interesting to me I mean the fact that he says um, I want it to be frightening that says a lot because I don't think a lot of a lot of people or I don't think I've ever heard an actor say that uh, like because you know instilling fear for Batman is what he does I mean if you approach him in in, in a way of, of fear I think that's a great way to do it because that's what he's about right and then the fact that he says I want to uh, he wants to lose himself in it I think right there is a great quote because I mean if you look at the the previous Joker actors I mean you talk about them losing themselves in it they're just like so in in their head and they get so lost in the role that they become the Joker for the for that moment. Um, I mean, we just watched Joaquin Phoenix just kill it. That movie's such a masterpiece. And that guy, he even he even like had to get you know he had to like hype himself to to feel the emotions of the Joker. And, and you know, and, and we also heard stories about Heath Ledger and how he lost himself and just locked himself in the room and just become the Joker. And I think this is. You know this 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 quote that he says is is gonna I feel like it's gonna fall in line with how those uh, how those actors approach their roles with the Batman and so I think this is very interesting because oh man it gets me very excited because you know Robin Pattinson is such a passionate actor I mean if you look at it at look at his previous projects you could tell he puts a lot of effort into his characters that he plays I mean if you look at if you watch Good Time if you watch um, High Life which is currently on uh, Amazon. And plus, if you watch um, the Lighthouse that's coming out right now, uh, I think each role he he plays, he he takes a, he puts a lot of effort and time, and he does a lot of research in, into his characters, uh, and you you don't really recognize him honestly. If you watch watch the movie Good Time, and you tell me if you could recognize him uh, as Robert Pattinson or not, because he puts on a really brilliant Brooklyn accent, and and you you can't recognize him. He's not the Twilight that we that we all make fun of him for uh, anymore. Uh, and I'll stand by that. So uh, Robert Pattinson, this guy is a great actor. So if you if he's able to put the same effort he's done with his previous roles with the Batman, I am so for it. I'm 100% in it. Um, and and so yeah, I mean, he this definitely looks like he, he he definitely sounds like he wants to do a, a different take from what other actors have done. Well, you know, which leads me to his 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 voice quote on how he's going to approach the Batman voice. And he talks about how uh, his co-star Willem Dafoe in the lighthouse and how his characters uh, is you know giving him inspiration for the voice and this is what he says he says Willem's voice in this is quite inspiring for it to be honest is pretty similar to the voice I'm gonna do I think Batman has sort of a piratey voice um, I think that would really suit him and the way he says his voice uh, the way he says his quote you know says it very playfully I mean if you watch the the uh, Access Hollywood uh, interview for this video he says it very playfully and he actually smiles a lot when he says um, it is pretty similar to the voice I'm gonna do, like he's very confident in his voice, and he like he's the way he smiles, it looks like um, he can't wait to show you guys, um, and that gets me excited right there. Um, but let's not assume he's gonna go 100% pirate, full on hook mode, or whatever pirate uh, thoughts you're, that's going through your head right now. Let's not assume he's gonna do that because if you actually watch the Lighthouse trailer or the Lighthouse movie, yes, Willem Dafoe does have a pirate accent. But he also has a very deep, very dark, um, lonely, uh, subtle voice, and I think that's something that he's going to do. Is going to add it to his to his um, to his Batman voice, and uh, and and I think he's going to give him a slight piratey accent. 
um, and I don't think that's I don't think that's bad. I think that's actually smart. More of a realistic take, right? How else are you gonna disguise yourself as a man dressed in a Batman suit um, from others, right? How do you how do you like how do you disguise your own voice? Because a lot of people that you may run into, maybe your friend, maybe someone that you you know, and you have to disguise yourself and not put on, you know, your your normal voice or just deepen your voice. Um, because I, re I mean, people are people aren't stupid. They're gonna figure it out. So by putting on an accent, I think putting on a, a deep voice with an accent that puts another layer to your disguise. Um, I mean, I of course I love the interpretation uh, that Ben Affleck did with his Batman voice. I think using like a, a auto tune or or a, a like a like a technology to to disguise his voice is very smart. It's very you know two thousand and. What, 15 or whatever of him um, and I loved you know Christian Bale I mean Christian Bale was the first one to disguise his own voice uh, just making it lower um, but see Robert Pattinson again he's gonna go a step above and try to be different from the previous actors by making his voice uh, by giving him a, an accent and I think that's super smart I super I think that's super realistic um, I, I like how he used piratey kind of voice uh, in this quote because it's gonna really trigger a lot of fans which I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are triggered um, and you know I, I don't I don't blame you because I, I we we you know we have to wait until uh, we actually hear the voice um, but until then I, I guess we have our own judgments for now um, but uh, yeah it's funny because Robin Pattinson he said it in the past that he's not the type of person or he's not used to you know uh, his his words being dissected by a bunch of people uh, so the fact that you know this you know this role has a huge following behind it i'm sure he's right now he's regretting using the word pirate uh to describe his his approach for the batman boy so that's funny uh all right let's move on to the next quote that he said so he says um when he, when talking about the training for batman and if he's has started working out for it he says this he says i'm in early stages of training very very early i did like exercising when i was younger but like now, I've gotten kind of older. I've suddenly, like, I'm suddenly getting aware of aging, and so I'm kind of, ah, uh, I need to put in some effort. Otherwise, I'm gonna need a hip replacement. Um, and that's right there, pretty funny to me. I mean, that just shows that we may or may not get a, a bulky Batman uh, like how Ben Affleck uh, did. Uh, I think our Batman, I think this version of Batman is gonna be a little bit more scrawnier than um, than Ben Affleck. I mean, I mean, it's not Zack Snyder behind us anymore. He's not getting the whole 300 workout uh, anymore. So we may get a more, you know, a, a slightly skinnier, slimmer Batman, which is totally fine. And you know, it's 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 a new take. Um, hopefully not as skinny as uh, Michael Keaton. I mean, that guy was just hella skinny. Um, Hopefully he gets as fit as Christian Bale. Let's see. I think uh, production is around January, right? So he has a lot of time. He still has to. I'm sure he's eating like 3,000 calories right now, uh, just to hit um, that bulkiness in, for his suit. So I'm curious if they're gonna go the 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 you know the muscle padded route for this Batman or not, or he's or if they're gonna go the the Christian Bale uh, suit route, where his suit was kind of more of like an armor, less padded. Um, because Christian Bale's suit, man, that dude's suit was hella padded, but he was he was built for that suit, so that's interesting. All right, so I want to know your guys' thoughts on these quotes. These are very interesting quotes. I want to know your guys' thoughts on this. And now let's move into the Jason Momoa quotes because he's talking about Aquaman 2. Uh, basically, he's saying Aquaman 2 is going to be bigger, more exciting, which is not surprising at all, but it's really good to hear um, that reassurance from uh, from Jason Momoa himself. And he says this. Uh, coming from entertainment tonight he says there's a lot more in store on so many levels there's going to be a lot it's way bigger I'm really stoked at the fan base and what we did with the movie and just went to Warner Brothers and DC and said you know what I have some ideas and they love them and James Wan and everyone is like we're all taking it in we're excited to do another one so that right there is is some confirmation or reassurance for us fans that everyone is on board with whatever idea they're coming out with and uh, It definitely sounds like I think I forgot if James Wan has confirmed that he's gonna do the second one I think so, but it's good to you know hear from the dragon's mouth that hey the uh, You know Aquaman Aquaman 2 is gonna be bigger and that's insane to me because Aquaman 1 was already huge um, the all the battle scenes I mean 
I, I guess a one step further would be to have a lot of under underground water scenes and have a lot of land scenes because I think that's what the the first one was missing. A lot of some some of the land scenes uh, I think showing you know Aquaman in the civilian life and using his powers just to stop crime. I I, I think that's what the movie was missing the first one. Um, so if that's the case, if that's where they're going, I'm all for it. So uh, I want to know your guys on uh, thoughts on this because this is really exciting. All right, so let's move into the rumor. Uh, section of today's video and this is going to be about the Green Lantern casting so this rumor of course is coming from the a very popular uh, news site called we got it covered always pumping out some rumors most likely this is fake but they are saying that Bradley Cooper is now being rumored to play Green Lantern Hal Jordan um, and they said that Tom Cruise is like more than likely going to pass on this role and uh, they're saying that DC is now looking at Bradley Cooper and this certain article has not confirmed or whatever uh, or not that DC has reached out to him or not. So uh, take that with a grain of salt, but I think this is a great casting. I, I think in the past when we're, you know, when all these casting rumors were coming out about, you know, Donna Justice, I was like, oh man, let's see who could play Flash, who could play Green Lantern. And I think Bradley Cooper came up uh, for me for Flash, for, for Barry Allen and for Hal Jordan because of course he's white and he's blind um, and so I mean the, and you know there were previous rumors that you know they DC does want a older Hal Jordan to teach a younger Jon Stewart so this would you know coincide with that and so Bradley Cooper could could be a uh, you know definitely our next Hal Jordan um, I mean Bradley Cooper he's such a great great actor already right so and plus he's, he's already playing uh, Rocket Raccoon which he does an amazing job a job uh, over at Marvel and so this would be really good. So uh, I want to know your guys thoughts on all this What do you guys think about Robert Pattinson's quotes? What do you guys think about uh, you know Aquaman 2 being bigger uh, than Aquaman 1 and what do you mean? What do you think he means by that? Um, and what do you guys think about this uh, Green Lantern rumor? Let me know in the comments below like this video and I'll see you guys again. Bye